So we now join the men's 4,000 metres team pursuit and this the qualifying round and the Australians the last to start as Olympic champions. The best eight times qualify for the race proper and the best four times go through straight into the semi-finals. And Australia clearly on a flyer. Riding in complete unison as they come up to the finish. A best time ever by Australia, 47.540. Best qualifiers and into the semi-finals. Tremendous start for the Olympic champions. And in the semi-finals, Denmark meet Germany. Germany the silver medalists and they go through now to meet Australia in the repeat of the Barcelona final. And Australia have qualified by beating the Russians in the second best world time of 4 minutes 6.129 seconds. So the two old rivals now in competition again in the race for gold. Brett Aitken, Stuart O'Grady, Tim O'Shaughnessy and Billy Joe Shearsby are the foursome from Australia. And on the far side of our camera is the Brett Aitken who will lead them away. And in the back straight for Germany, nearest the camera is Guido Fulf, followed by Jens Lehmann, Thorsten Schmidt and Stefan Steinbeck. Each team retaining two riders from the respective gold and silver medal winning rides in Barcelona. And this is possibly the nicest race to watch on television when it's done by the finest cyclists in the world. And this you cannot doubt today. They, they ride very, very tightly. They rely totally on the pacemaking of the front rider who will swing up and then tuck quickly into the slipstream and very tight onto the rear wheel of number three rider. The time for the race is taken on the third man to cross the line, so they can afford to lose one, but that's it. So the team is only as strong as the third man in the squad. And this is turning out to be quite a start because they're both neck and neck here. And in fact, the Germans have gone up five hundredths of a second. The Germans have the lead. A psychological start going in favor of Germany. But the Australians are settling in. They're coming back. It's a tenth of a second in it now. And in fact, the Australia have reversed it, and they're coming round to just 1,000 metres. Australia have gone clear at the one, one three point seven five oh. That's a tremendous start, and that in fact has swung back again to Germany there on the clock and reversed again to Australia. This is a tremendous pursuit by these arch rivals, Germany versus Australia. They're going opposite sides of the track, completely together here. Well, I know that both teams came out completely psyched up for this competition. They've been through it all before. It was Australia who got the gold in the heat of Barcelona from the Germans, and Germany now have fallen back by half a second. And it's in this second kilometer, I think, where Australia is striking gold because they're pushing the Germans away. And this is a tremendous second kilometer by Australia. They're so tight, and look at the way they're riding on the wheels. They're almost touching those wheels, and they're all anxious to get to the front to do a turn. They push Germany out now to 1.183 seconds. Two kilometres this time. Australia, 22496. That was a tremendous second kilometre. About 58 seconds, almost unheard of. Australia here again are now putting these championships on a world record course. There's never been so many world records fallen in pursuit racing. We've seen them go already in the individual pursuits of men and women. And I think Australia are going to do the world record ride again today. The Germans, who have been the greatest exponents of the world team pursuit, are now on their heels. Australia, still with the four men, going very, very well indeed as they push Germany out to 2.3 seconds behind. And there's the cross on the opposite side of the track. And Australia know now that they're heading for the gold medal in the world championship. Australia have made such an alarming progress in the sport of track cycling since 1984 when despite the boycott in the games the big countries didn't arrive they took the gold medal in Los Angeles and now they are heading here for the world title again and this is a tremendous show by the Australians as they've now gone almost half a lap up they're beginning to see the tail of the Germans in the other straight and this is still a world record schedule and again the crowd has spotted it. There you can see the full circle of the stadium now. And the Germans as they go out, the Australians come through. 
Tremendous pace making there. Good turn by Stuart O'Grady. He's the strong man on this team, so the coach tells us. And O'Grady has done a superb piece of riding because look at the gap. And I think it's Brett Aiken who's dropped off. Aiken did a good ride. He's not even tried to get on the tail. Three to count. Aiken has gone off the back as these three now go. Will they get the world record time? It looks to me as though they're right on it. It's going to be very, very tight indeed. As they come up to the line, clock stops in the third band, 43.822. They have smashed the world record and they've almost got up to 60 kilometres an hour. The Australians of Aitken, O'Grady, O'Shaughnessy and Shearsby cannot believe this week. They looked at the clock two days ago in qualifying. They didn't believe it then. Now I think they probably will think they've gone a lap short of the stadium. That is a superb record. Four minutes and three seconds. They have the world record for sure. Well, this is turning out to be Australia's championship. They've seen Gary Newand lift the sprint title and beat Germany to that. And now Australia has done likewise to the Germans in the team pursuit.